could and stand up for our democracy and values when necessary. And so this is an incredible opportunity. I know that you will see fantastic results from members of this coalition, uh, and I'm just so excited to be a part of it. And so now I get to introduce to you uh, a fellow colleague of mine from one of those races that no one expected for us to win. And so we are always going to be kindred spirits. Uh, and that person is Yadira Cordova from Colorado's 8th District. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yadira Caraveo, and I am the representative elect to the new 8th Congressional District in Colorado, one of the toughest seats uh, this cycle, and a district that was designed to be a toss up by the new Independent Districting um, Commission in Colorado. Um, it is precisely the type of district that needs to be represented by somebody in the new Democrats coalition, somebody that will work across the aisle, uh, that will take in all of the information from every single constituent and will make sure to lead in a way that is focused on problem solving and getting things done. You know, as a doctor, I am inherently a problem solver, used to taking in information from everyone um, involved in a decision um, to approaching it in a pragmatic manner and to making sure that you get things done at the end of the, of the day. That is precisely why I ran for the state legislature, where two-thirds of my uh, uh, legislation was bipartisan, and I made sure to talk to everyone and work with everyone to get things done for Coloradans. It is the reason that I decided to run for Congress, and I am so excited to join a coalition that is focused on those very same missions, that is going to talk to everyone, make sure to take in all of the information, and do what is, is needed for people like my constituents in the 8th District who really want change and want Congress to get things done. So it is uh, with pride that I um, joined yesterday officially um, that I look forward to working not just with the 17 members um, that are coming in on the freshman class, but with these amazing mentors um, that we have had along the way in our campaigns um, who have taught us uh, what it is like to, to run in tough districts, to come from diverse uh, backgrounds, um, and to be effective in Congress. So with that, I will pass it back to um, an incredible um, mentor, an example of that progress um, in the, this last Congress, Chair Dilbenia. Thank you, Dira. So now you can see why we're so excited about our new members, about our strong coalition heading into 118th Congress, our strong leadership heading into 118th. I'll continue to be chair through the end of the year. And as Derek said, I get that title of chair emeritus and will do what I can to continue to support the team. Um, I'm just really proud of the work we're done and the work that we'll be doing in this next Congress. So with that, I'll open up for questions for anyone here and please, um, when you ask your questions, also just tell us your outlet as well. Yes, sir. My name is Paul Corson. You'll find me in the hallways looking for you for news. Um, uh, my, my question has to do with the incoming chairman. Yes. Yep. What is it about your group that Republicans should know about to make them want to reach across the aisle? I've heard a lot of bipartisanship sure. and promises, but what is it, what's in it for them, in other words? Sure. Well, we all have been working, the incumbents have been working in a bipartisan basis for many years. So many of us are in the class of 2012. I can just speak for myself, but there are many other examples. I have a bipartisan task force on mental health and addiction, a bipartisan task force to end sexual violence. I even co-chair the bipartisan ski caucus to talk about immigration and climate change. So we have many colleagues on the other side of the aisle. There are issues that we've been working on together, and we'll continue to do that work in the 118th. So I'm not hearing any, any specific st strategy, though, to bring them over, because if you need to block something that you find you don't want to support in the Republican realm, and you wish their support for a Democratic initiative, what, what key thing will bring them across the aisle? to win votes. They're, they're in total disarray on their side of the aisle. They're going to have a hard time getting anything done. Some of their most extreme members are just completely distracted by other issues, and we're here to work hard for the American people. And I'm just telling you examples of how we've worked well in the past and how we will continue to in the 118th. I also want to add that as New Dems, we know that to get a bill through the House, we need 218 votes. Um, we need that support in the Senate. And to get things done, that's critically important. And that's the, why we've been successful, is been a, understanding that we've got to get things across the finish line. Um, yes, ma'am.
I think our focus is on what we can do, on finding that path forward, making sure that we're working for our constituents and families across the country. Um, that's why folks elected folks in very tough districts, because we had strong candidates who were talking about the kitchen table issues, and we were talking about actually how we solve them, not just saying um, there's an issue out there, but actually saying here's some things we might be able to do, things we can do to help families, things we can do that might have strong support. And many of the, our new members and many of us existing members won um, with bipartisan support of the ballot. Um, in these swing districts, um, folks came together. So I think the fact that folks were elected in tough districts is a strong statement about what they're bringing to the table. And that's the voice that we're going to have, um, that we've had in the 117th and that we'll continue to have in the 118th Congress. Can you just say what, who you're with? I'm on the policy side. Um, you're asking me, so um, I'm going to talk about the child tax credit. Um, this has been a big win for the New Dem Coalition in terms of getting that in the American Rescue Plan and making sure that um, we help lift children out of poverty, 3.7 million children out of poverty across the country. Um, renewing the expanded child tax credit continues to be a top priority, and um, the New Dem Coalition has been strongly behind that. So. Um, we know that kids don't grow up in a year, and so we have a huge opportunity to continue to help kids and have great outcomes long in the future. Let me turn it over to Annie. Yeah, I just want to add to Susan, thank her for her leadership on that. It's tied to our overall um, uh, plan of economic opportunity for all Americans. And these children that are growing up now are the future workers, the, the future consumers, the, the future business owners, the entrepreneurs. And so it's a really important connection to our new Dem agenda, and we'll continue to fight for that. Also, the um, R&D tax credit we're hoping to get done in the um, lame duck. So there are a number of issues left to do. Um, I, I can go offline to talk about New Hampshire, but just briefly, um, we're disappointed in the president's letter. Uh, we will continue to abide by New Hampshire law, and I hope that the committee gets this resolved. Thanks. Other question? One more? There's a, if not, great. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so good. We got one more. Actually, get a group photo. Can we take a picture? Everybody, can we take a picture? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, thanks. Can we just get a group photo in front of the Capitol? Can we get a group photo? Hey, Derek. 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 Can we get a picture? Yeah, can we do a favor? Can we do it in front of this yes. podium so we don't get all this? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.